Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are back in Stormworks yet again, and today we're actually going to be trying to make this thing a little bit faster. This is of course our war train, as you guys can see, it is number 1103, and it has the Frantic Freight logo on the back, because that is who the train is originally from. So, what we're going to do today is actually paint this thing, and also add some pumps, uh, to try and make this thing a little bit quicker. We're also maybe going to add some one-way valves as well uh, to see how that goes uh, and that should be awesome so let's go ahead and get on with it shall we all right so first things first we're gonna go ahead and change the color of this thing because I don't actually like the way that it currently looks uh, I'm gonna go ahead and make it a military train uh, but what we're gonna do in order to do that is to actually make it green um, instead of in, instead of like the red slash black um, stuff because I think this looks a lot better um, or it might. It might look a lot better. I don't know whether this is quite the right green, but there you go. What does that even look like? <laughs> I don't know what that'll look like. Uh, no. That is that is not how I want it to look. Let me pick some colors. I'm going to change the color of it, and uh, I'll get back with you guys in a second. Alright, so this is the color that I think I'm going to go with, uh, but I do actually have to paint all of these in separately as well, uh, which is going to take a lot of time. So I'm going to quickly do that, and then I'll be back with you guys very, very shortly. There we go, guys. It is now in green. Honestly, I actually think this looks alright, but it doesn't really make an awful lot of sense unless the tracks themselves were green. Obviously, in this situation, um, the underneath the track is actually tan, so maybe it makes more sense to do that. But anyway, I think it looks pretty cool in this color, so we're gonna keep it like this. If you're wondering why that's like that, it's a reminiscent... A reminiscent? It's a remnant of uh, one of our tests, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and keep it. Uh, in that color. So there you go. Anyway, what we're going to do now is try and figure out a top speed for this thing. So let's go ahead and get inside, get this thing moving, and then we're going to try and add some pumps and stuff like that to see if we can make it any quicker. Anyway, light the firebox, let's get it going, and see how quickly we can actually make this move. Okay, so what I'm going to measure this by is how fast we can actually get this train going before it gets to the bend, or before it gets to the curve. Um, with that being said, we have only just started moving, but there you go. Um, yeah, so we need to see what kind of speeds we can get up to before the bend, and uh, from there we'll be able to figure out what we actually want from this. Because honestly, I don't really know. I don't know what kind of speeds we want. Um, but if we have a little look right here, we're up to 27 already, up to 28. Uh, and then as soon as we start going around the bend, we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and call it there. We're already up to 30, so 30 meters per second seems pretty good. And, um, I say when we get to the bend, I don't mean this little bit, I mean where it splits. In fact, let's just go with where it splits. So, it's already up to 32. Okay, 32, that is what we're gonna call it at. Okay, let's see if we can make that a little bit quicker. Alright, so essentially what I want to do is I want to add a pump into this system that pumps the, uh, the, the, the steam uh, a little bit quicker through the pistons. So we're going to send it into this piston a lot quicker, uh, and then we're going to send it out of that piston into this piston a lot quicker, and hopefully that speeds up the entire process. Whether that's actually going to work or not, I'm not so sure, but uh, it is worth a try. So let's delete these guys, including those ones. Get ourselves some new pipes. We're going to go with this guy, which I rarely ever use, uh, because it's kind of hard to use it. Um, but there we go. Okay, cool. So what this allows us to do is actually pump in a different kind of way. We're going to make it go that way. Then we're going to make it go this way. We're going to get ourselves the actual pump. Here it is. And hopefully we can whack it on there really nicely. Bam. What is this? Fluid out? Yes. Okay. I can't actually quite get it down to there unless I do it this way. All right. Delete that one. Go ahead and send it this way. Grab one of these. Do this and this. And then we should be able to attach those together just by doing this. And also this. Attach that together like so. Nice. So, now we've got a pump. Um, as long as the firebox is on, that pump will be working. So let's go ahead and do that. There we go. Uh, and then we need another pump from that one. Um, from this side into the other side. So if we delete this and this and this, we can probably put a pump right here like... Oh, I don't know how this is going to work. Like that. There we go. And that says fluid out right there. So all we need to do is delete this guy and this guy. Grab ourselves an angled piece, make it go upwards, backwards, and sideways from this one into there like this. Bam! There we go. We're also going to connect that directly up to this guy as well. 
And now we should be a little bit quicker. Maybe. I mean, this is just a test, but we'll see. Alright guys, so I believe we are actually on the move now, which is awesome, yes. And we are already at 30, so we have actually sped up the train. Uh, not by very much, but a few meters per second is actually quite a lot, actually. So, as soon as we get to the turny bits, we'll see how fast we're going. And if it is faster than, I believe it was 32, uh, we win. We're already at 37, so we already win. But there you go. So, if we have a little look now, we're at 39, and now we're at the section. So, we increased our speed by 7 meters per second, which is actually a lot. So, um, I'm actually really happy with that. That's good. Okay, so with that being said, uh, there is actually other things that I do want to do to this to change it slightly. Uh, one of those things is uh, actually grabbing this guy all the way down to here, cutting it, and moving it off to the side like so. It is actually going to go that wide, which might be a little bit insane, but uh, there you go. We're then going to cut the other side and do the same thing, there we go. And we're also going to grab some of these pipes and do it from here sideways. Uh, just like so into there, and just like so into there, actually, let's do it from this one. Uh, we'll do the same thing here, so from there into there, and from there into there. Merge this with this, merge this with this, and there we go. Okay, I'm actually pretty pleased with this so far. But it needs to change slightly, because these guys actually need to go back on there. Or we can get away with making it flat. We can probably get away with making it flat. I'm not entirely sure, but yeah, I think that's okay. Uh, from this side, we're going to go ahead and paint these guys. There we go. And from this side, we're going to go ahead and paint these guys. There we go as well. And does that look better or worse or what? That looks crazy. <laughs> that looks a bit crazy. Um, but what we'll do in order to fix this, uh, maybe, is to delete these guys. And actually, yeah, we will actually do these pieces. Whether it's for the best or for the worst, who cares? Here we go. Do those guys right there, do these guys right here, and we will have to fix them all together, but for now we can ignore it. There we go, do that down to there, and now we just need to do these guys, bosh. We need to do the other guys that fit in there, these ones, and also these ones down here. Bam. There we go. Does that look better or worse? I don't know. I can't tell how I should be connecting these guys. I actually don't know how I should connect the smoke deflectors. Um, yeah, <laughs> I, I don't know. I genuinely have no idea. Uh, I might even just do this on the top of there. Just do something like this. Which looks very crazy, <laughs> but maybe it'll work. And then maybe this. Uh, 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 uh. There we go, and there we go. Okay, that looks insane. That looks actually insane. I quite like it though, but I feel like they should be moved in one. Uh, these guys should be moved in one. But I don't know. I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of this. I think it being further out sort of works, but then doesn't work at the same time. So there you go. Alright, so I've modified these slightly, so I've given them a little bit of a giveaway at the back. Uh, which, you know, might be a little bit odd, but it might also act actually end up being quite cool. Let's have a little look at that and see what that looks like. Yeah, I think I prefer that more than what we had, so we're gonna keep it. With that being said, I also want to add something to the center of this to make it hopefully look a little bit nicer. Unfortunately, I can't really do that. There's nothing that will actually fit in there um, that seems right, you know? Like, I could, I suppose, put this on the front, but it just doesn't seem right. Um, what else could we do? I know I could add a helm, okay, because we've done that on previous builds, uh, but it doesn't actually fit. Like, I, I would have to add it like this. And obviously, that is just odd. <laughs> it's very odd. So we can't have that. So is there anything else that we can actually fit on the front of this uh, that would make it look a little bit more normal? I don't think so. So how am I supposed to make it look nice? I actually don't know. Um, yeah, no. I, I mm, One of those would be kind of cool, but maybe a smaller one. Yeah, there we go. Looks a little bit odd. And then maybe some pipes. Do -do 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 -do. Some little pipes on there? I don't know. I think this might just look worse. <laughs> it might look worse than when I started. There we go. Spawn it in. I mean, it adds something. It just doesn't add something good. Yeah. I feel like that's quite ugly. In fact, I feel like I've made the whole front end look worse. But let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. 
Okay, so next thing is actually railings. Uh, I wouldn't mind actually attaching some of these to this uh, in order to make it look a little bit nicer. So that is what I'm going to do. And I think it's going to start on the top of here. So let's add those there. Turn them around and whack those there. We then need a horn. Because at the minute we don't have one. Uh, and that needs to probably go... Oh, I guess we've got a whistle already. A whistle is probably good enough. Um, rockets? Yeah, I mean, these guys are actually pretty good for decoration. I just don't really know where to put them um, right now. I don't know where to put them at all, actually. Uh, dee -dee 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 -dee. I'm going to go ahead and whack them in there. There we go. It seems to sort of fit there. And I think this is all for show, too, so I'm going to go ahead and do that as well. There we go. Anything else? Any other place that this guy needs to go? I'm going to go ahead and attach two of them there. And I'm going to go ahead and do this because it needs to attach to the tender a little bit nicer than it currently does. So there you go. Bam. Nice. Okay, so it's not only the locomotive that gets a bit of a, uh, a good looking at. We're going to go ahead and change the, uh, the tender as well because it kind of needs changing. So we're going to go ahead and do this. And then once we've done this, we should be able to test it out. Uh, with that being said, the other thing that I want to do to the tender is add some water because it needs to be able to replenish the water in our engine. So that is what we're going to do right now. I'm going to quickly do it and then I'll get back with you guys in a second. Okay, so uh, all of this side is now painted. All of the other side is now painted also, I do believe. So all we got to do now is go to the inside. Go ahead and fill the bottom in just like so. And I think we'll go ahead and do this across here. Go ahead and uh, do this. Ah, I can't see. Okay, across there. Hopefully that's filled it. It has. Uh, we're going to delete this guy on the bottom and this guy as well. Let's go ahead and get ourselves a meter so we can see how much uh, fluid is in here. And get ourselves a spawner so we can actually see how much water is in here as well. We're also going to make this water. There you go. And uh, I guess we're going to need a dial to see how much water is in there. Dial. Yes, so we'll have a dial for coal and a dial for water because we can so uh, coal level and then Water level there we go. Okay, so uh, let's attach this to the coal Attach this to the water and we also need a way of refilling the water, but we don't have to do that today It's fine. So let's go ahead and save this as what have I saved the previous one as actually Steam Locomotive Tender War 1. <laughs> okay, so new. Uh, da, 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 da. Steam Locomotive War... Well, I, don't, I don't know what I actually called it, sorry. No, actually, can, 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 cancel. Cancel, cancel, cancel. I needed to add Tender in there, didn't I? So there we go, okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to attach that to our locomotive. And we're going to see how fast it goes with the Tender on as well. Okay, so this is what it all looks like now in fully uh, fully greened out camo. I think I like it way more, to be honest. I like it way better. Uh, I feel like this bit right here is a little bit strange though, because some of them are odd, some of them are even, uh, and they're all different sizes, which, you know, annoys me a little bit, but we might have to change that. Um, yeah, other than that, I think it's actually really cool. So let's get it moving. We'll see how fast it goes, uh, at least up to that corner, and uh, we'll go from there. Okie dokie, is everybody ready? We are moving! We're actually moving. We're already at 12 meters per second. I do need to calculate it in, uh, I don't know, miles an hour. I feel like miles an hour is uh, is what I want anyway. Uh, we're already up to 24, 25. Okay, we've just switched tracks. We are now on a straight. We're at 27. Excellent. Uh, this new little bit is, that we've added does actually allow us to walk backwards. Uh, we can still fall down, which is a little bit scary. Um, but yeah, you're a lot more safe than you used to be, so that's good. Anyway, how fast are we going now? 32, which is how fast we were going last time um, before we had a tender on. So pulling a tender that has, I don't know how much water it's got in it, actually. 5,000 water and 1,053 coal. Um, we're going the same speed as our old train was with nothing behind it. So that's kind of crazy. Uh, now we're going around a bend. Everything seems actually a-okay. This is, this is pretty good. It's working, guys. It's working. Um, so there you go. Anyway, I think I'm going to end this video here for now. All I really wanted to do was make it faster, but we ended up changing its color, adding some water to the tender, and, um, yeah, changing the front end a little bit too. Anyway, for now, thank you guys very much for watching. 
Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.